is going on guys and this is a quick CEX update and pickups video basically so yeah as you've seen you've seen all my pickups video I've been accumulating credit so where is that credit going so uh, unfortunately we did have a bit of a CEX roulette fail so I did order it was 75 pounds boxed it was Shinobi X on the Sega Saturn uh, unfortunately the CEX roulette didn't pay off because it arrived without a manual really nice condition just no manual um, I believe, I, I can't remember, I'm sure it was the only one in stock, if I'm correct. So, yeah, unfortunately, I had to return that to Hull CEX. Um, so, yeah, basically, when I did return that to Hull CEX, um, I uh, traded my Grimsby CEX rejects in, and they took them in no problem whatsoever, which was absolutely awesome. You might remember the Razer Deathstalker keyboard, um, Deathstalker Expert, um, I think, I was hoping for 20-odd quid it was, but they took it in as a death death hang on a minute it's not that many words to it they took it in as a death stalker expert ultimate and i actually got 38 pounds in store credit which was absolutely sick so i got that um i got 13 pounds for the uh, ps3 dualshock 3 six axis controller and also i traded in a small bundle of games including like mario kart wii there was gta 5 on the 360 and i'm sure there was a minecraft and a cars one i think it was something like that and i got like 20 quid for them so that's awesome credit gained there so yeah it does pay off to um just trade them in at like a i think it's a corporate store i think it is i'm sure hull is whereas um, my grimsby store it's, it's a lot different they're very ever so fussy whereas hull um, they just take things in no problem like the you know just a lot easier to deal with and uh, they're not as fussy at all so I mean my Grimsby one they actually smell your items to see if the smell of cigarette smoke and stuff it's actually it's unbelievable it really is um, yeah it's got to that point unfortunately but with those along with the Shinobi X I did actually order another game and guess what guys the CEX roulette paid off so happy so I got metal slug anthology i've been wanting this for ages i was i was so close this close to picking it up at the uh, last doncaster video game market back in march but i just couldn't justify paying i think i saw it on one store for 40 and i think i saw it on another for 35 i think that's about the cheapest i saw it um i can't remember how much this was on cex it might have been might have been about 30 35 quid but it obviously just didn't cost me anywhere near that because i got it with credit so yeah it's in absolutely awesome condition really nice with the manual no graffiti or all that riff raff in the manual whatever all really nice and i've played it and um yeah it's such good value for money as well because you obviously have metal slug one two metal slug x three four five and six so yeah it's got some awesome value to it there so really would recommend getting it guys but yeah try get it with your credit because it's just not fair it's not fair um you know the price it's got to having to pay that price to be able to play these games that would suck so you know really happy and really lucky that i got it with uh, cx credit and the roulette paid off thank god um yeah and i was also in hull for another reason because i saw this um advert on the marketplace uh, the facebook marketplace the local uh, swaps and sales so yeah even though i'm from grimsby things in hull do come up so yeah there was a big big bunch of gaming magazines for a tenner so absolutely wicked i went to pick them up i thought i'll go go there and then i'll nip in cx you know so yeah these gaming magazines there was literally all ps1 ps2 i think some ps3 modern ones and there was lots of dreamcast as well there was um i think is it is it dm uk or something uh dreamcast magazine uk i think it was like an unofficial one i think and then uh, the official dreamcast ones and they're the ones i collect so um i have got a bundle to keep no, I don't like trying new ones because I just I don't know what they're like and that. Yeah, I know, but you don't know if it's bad. Do they do pizza platters? No, I might not. Mm. Yeah, could I have a garlic bread with cheese, please? Thank you. Garlic bread with cheese pizza platter, please. And can I have spice on the chips, please? Remember to tell them. Cheers. Love you, bye. So I will be reaching out to Mark Joe at the magazine guide to see if we can um, sort out like a bit of a trade deal kind of thing. Because obviously I collect like, I do collect like some of the old mags like the Sega Saturn ones, the official Dreamcast ones, uh, you know, the odd N64. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I collect some of them, yeah. Collect a bit of everything. And obviously I do collect the retro gamers, so hopefully you can hook me up with a load of issues if we can sort out like some kind of trade deal, which would be cool. So I will show you guys the magazines which I've decided to keep. So this is just one of the carrier bags. Like, there are so many. There is an even bigger carrier bag than this one. There's absolutely loads more. This is about probably even a quarter of the next carrier bag, basically. Way too many to show you guys, but there's like stuff like the games magazines, PSM2, PSM3. Uh, there was a few um, like PS1 mags and uh, obviously the Dreamcast ones. And so, yeah, I'll show you the ones which I've decided to keep, guys. There's some that interest me that I'd like to keep. And um, yeah, especially obviously the official Dreamcast ones. So there is this one here. I've just been looking through it to see why I kept it because I kept it for a reason. <laughs> yeah, so this is Dreamcast Monthly, monthly magazine. Uh, February 2000 this one yeah so I flicked through it and I saw a review on Resi 2 Holster don't you get bored of reading Resi 2 over and over again no I don't <laughs> I like uh, I like reading them so yeah because of that literally that's why I've kept it and there's obviously some nice uh, other titles included Shenmue Crazy Taxi in there right what else do we have God, I'm trying to figure out where I can even put these <laughs> so uh, yeah there is um no it's basically like just a a mini magazine of Medal of Honor Frontline, like behind the scenes stuff, like things like that. So I thought I'd I'd keep that. It came with uh, one of the PSW magazines. I love Medal of Honor Frontline. I really like the first mission in that. Won't ever forget that first mission on that beach. Um, this is a Porsche Challenge poster. I believe it is a double-sided one. So I'll show you guys. So that's really nice. I'll just pass that on to um, like someone who will appreciate it more anyway. Keep that for one of the guys. It's a Dreamcast magazine poster, that is. That's decent. Yeah, this is a PSW magazine. Um, Resident Evil Online. I'm not going to go in great depth in like, every magazine, but obviously I'm just showing you uh, why I've decided to keep them kind of thing. Um, I don't know what on earth this is on about, but apparently Resident Evil Online was meant to be a thing. I don't know what on earth that is about. I've, I've read I've not like read into it yet. So yeah, I'm gonna read up about this and uh, have a little look online as well. And I collect um, the gaming mags with the Resident Evil front covers, mainly the retro Resident Evils. But I, ju I just love reading about them. So this is a official Dreamcast mag. This is Code Veronica cover, and then another one with daytona on the front so this is a games magazine it's just called games it has an exclusive left for dead like first look and review in it so that's why uh, i've kept that one so obviously you guys know i love my zombie games and i'm a big left for dead fan as well this is another official dreamcast mag a soul caliber on the front sick game that is and this one has metropolis street racer on the front and we have another with quake 3 on i like this one <laughs> Big fan of Crazy Taxi. That was that on the front cover. Exclusive review on that. GTA 2 and Tomb Raider in there also. Uh, I kept this one because it has Code Veronica solutions in. The Resi one. It is also a nice uh, nice looking Samba de Amigo front cover. And then this is also another uh, Crazy Taxi one I've kept. Uh, this is the DC UK one which I don't usually collect. But there's also Resident Evil 2 reviewed in there as well. So that's obviously... The main reason for keeping another DC UK exclusive Co Veronica six pages of that, and then I, oh, I really love the cover of this one. Um, oh, I absolutely love GTA 3, like especially when that first came out because it was obviously so different on it, like than the top down first 3D one. So, yeah, that's obviously the uh, the big like uh, exclusive and whatever on GTA 3. Then this is one on Vice City. Again, another of my favourite GTAs. Um, I do really like the Silent Hill series as well. And this has the world exclusive playtest of Silent Hill 3. So I thought I'd keep that one. Uh, mediocre Resident Evil, this one. Mediocre. It was when it went all actiony. Call of Duty, what? <laughs> Too much action, less survival horror. But nevertheless, Resident Evil 5. Not a bad game anyway. And then there was another Metropolis Street Racer. Another official Dreamcast mag. So yeah, they're the ones that I've decided to keep anyway, guys. Um, and then the rest I've got to see if um, Mark um, can do a trade deal with me. For possibly some retro gamers and some other retro mags or whatever. So I'll be reaching out to Mark very soon. Um, yeah, so basically, um, after pick those magazines up, um, sorting out the CEX returns, um, 
and then obviously had to return Shinobi. I hated return Shinobi. I really, I was really hoping it'd turn up complete. But yeah, we go again. We have to wait till it, uh, you know, possibly gets in stock again, or might be an eBay purchase or one off the groups. I don't know. Yeah, it's really difficult getting the Saturn big hitters with manuals. Um, as it is at the other ones, really. Mega Drive, that's a bugger to get as well. The big hit is complete. So, yeah. Um, so, with uh, that credit and some that I'd already accumulated and whatever, I only spent a fraction of my credit, really. I didn't even spend, you know... I've still got, as of now, £190 in credit remaining, which is sick. And uh, I would like to save a little bit more, and I'm going for a Saturn big hitter, and I'm just hoping that it would arrive complete with manual once I play the CX roulette. So pray for me guys we can pray so uh yeah a little bit of modern gaming here um finally got this one finally got it spyro reignited trilogy i wasn't originally going to get it because i was waiting and waiting to see if it got released on the switch um because i thought i'd really like it handheld uh, as well because that's what i did with crash bandicoot but um to be fair i'll I'll get Crash Bandicoot when I can for the Xbox One as well, because I, I would like them just for the achievements, and it's just I, just, I just really like playing my Xbox One a lot, it's my main console, really, you know, whenever I'm not playing retro, um, I, I just love the controller, and I love playing them, like, with the controller, so, um, yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get it, we'll smash the achievements on that, so I'm really enjoying that so far, they, they've genuinely done an incredible job with the remaster, I will always prefer the original all day, every day, all day, every day. Because um, I, I think it just, <laughs> it's just those pixelated graphics. I know the old school and whatever, but they do have a distinct charm to them. And it's when when you, um, just things like when you're, I think they've done all right with the gliding and all that lot, the jumping. I don't find it that bad because I reckon they really buggered up the physics with the crash games, to be honest with you. I reckon they ruined it. I really, really dislike that about the crash games, but still did an alright job apart from that but yeah when you um go to rescue the dragons and then i like the old like little cutscene and animation you know when they're like shaking before they like break free kind of thing on this it just doesn't seem as on the ps1 games there was just so much more like suspense because they they'd like proper shake for a few seconds before they came out of like you know the the ice the glass you know kind of thing before it went flying uh so yeah i prefer that old style like i say it just doesn't have that quite for me, I like the old school ones, Alex. I love the old school pixelated graphics and the charm of them. But still, really nice to play this. They've done a really nice job. The graphics are really cute and all that. Really nice. Uh, this is another one. Didn't know where to get it for the Switch, but I thought, no, I'm going to get it for um, the Xbox One for the achievements. And because I just enjoy playing games with the feel of the controller, I just really enjoy it. It's Harry Potter, the Lego games, <laughs> the collection. Uh, years what is it one to seven yeah so these lego harry potters are my favorite lego games they're generally my favorite because i'm just a, such a, a big fan of harry potter i've got all the actual lego sets that they recently released last year and they're actually bringing more sets out this year so i've got more to afford <laughs> so yeah um really like this i think it was i believe it was like 20 quid um and then sparrow was 22 quid by the way so not bad at all because I, I was buying these with credit not bad at all um saw a nice capcom compilation um on the xbox 360 i've not seen this one and it was 12 pound it is capcom digital collection i thought it was quite unusual because i'd not seen it before so we have Street Fighter 2 at Turbo HD Remix, 1942 Jungle Strike, Bionic... What's that one? Commando Rearmed 2. Sorry, I couldn't read that properly. Um, plus, it came from Uranus Expansion Pack. Rocket Man... What's that? Axis of Evil. Um, Final Fight Double Impact... Oh, so much love for this one. Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. Wolf of the Battlefield Commando 3. And Flock, which looks like a sheep game. So I've not actually played all these. I'm sure 1942 is meant to be good as well. I love the Super Puzzle Fighter games as well. Um, I've been wanting to get it for the Sega Saturn. I just haven't managed to get it yet. And uh, obviously can't go wrong with Street Fighter and Final Fight. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying out the other ones that I haven't played before. So yeah, really nice compilation that is. Looks really cool. This next one, um, it was like, it used to be 50p, but it's like £1.50. But I, I didn't mind too much. It's only with credit. Uh, it's only credit. Credit. <laughs> it's only with credit, so it's costing me peanuts really. So it is Super Trucks on the PS2. I know, I know. I can, I can justify why I've got this, okay? 
if you guys ever watched did you ever watch gamesville on sky one um because they used to like let two friends come on and like verse against each other on a game um yeah this was basically one of the games um it appeared one week on gamesville and uh yeah it just looks really cheesy and i just uh i've just really wanted like a truck race or so <laughs> that's just why i bought it to be honest with you i thought i'll just grab it because i saw it on gamesville so i thought i'd grab that finally guys right last three games sega saturn goodness right um and yeah also if you know hull cex as other youtubers will tell you i Stu and some other people um you will know that you have you're so lucky if you even get manuals in the like mid to high range games um they had some they had some of them the mid to high range hitters on like the playstation one sega mega drive um and also they had um they had enemy zero on sega saturn i wouldn't have minded that it was like 60 quid but it didn't have the outer like sleeve for it, it didn't have the outer cardboard sleeve it was just both the cases because it's like it must be like a four disc game because there's two cases to it there was just like that with a bit of, um what you call it, an elastic band around them so yeah that was really annoying because I, I really like a nice copy of enemy zero for saturn but yeah obviously i had to give that a miss i also saw jojo's bizarre adventure for the ps1 i believe that's about 90 quid nowadays i think didn't expect it to have the manual and it didn't you have to lower your expectations in hull cx because there's a certain someone who returns all these things manualless we all know who he is <laughs> no bad feelings against him or whatever but yeah we all kind of know don't expect manuals with hull cx and yeah last one also i checked out it was um it was called wolverine's rage on the mega drive um i can't remember how much cx do it for it's I don't know if it's somewhere between 60 and 70 quid or something like that. Checked that, but no manual. So, yeah, I was gutted at that. But you can't get hopes up when you go there. Anyway, I got three Sega Saturn games. And they're lower-end titles. Um, but, yeah, still nice for the collection. And it's really nice paying with credits. And it's hardly costing me anything, to be honest. So, first one we got is Formula Karts Special Edition. I had a little go of this as well. The... Um, the tracks seem quite short actually but you you do a few laps on them anyway um but yeah it's a nice little kart racer anyway makes a change from obviously playing the usual sega rally you know car games or or the manx tt you know you've got your your sega rally in the cars the manx tt on the bikes and then obviously your formula carts it's nice to have like a a kart racer so yeah i've tried that out really enjoyed that um i think that was i think uh yeah i think it was 12 pounds if i'm correct oh and this one absolutely love this one I, I love some puzzler games i do buster move 2 arcade edition so it's got your uh little bubble bobble guys featuring in it and that i actually completed it earlier i think you get like um well the mode i played on anyway i don't know if there is a harder difficulty i think i did it on normal um you know i just select anything because i just can't wait to get into the game um oh as always what a surprise it's come out of the uh yeah, it's come out of the... So I actually completed this earlier. Uh, you get like 10 credits on it. Uh, well, to be fair, I was playing it on normal, so maybe need to switch up to the hard mode and then see if I can clear it on that. But yeah, it's um, really cool, this is. I love these games. Like I said, the, the Bubble Bobble guys are on it and everything. Yeah, it's mega addictive puzzle, this one. So this is up there with my favourite. Um, I think probably my favourite is uh, Baku Baku. I really love that one with like, the animal... Um, the animal faces and the fruits to match up with them so i also want super puzzle fighter 2 as well for the saturn and uh it's really nice to have this as a puzzle game as well and then last but not least i got a pinball game called tilt and i believe uh yeah i think buster move was 15 i think or something like that and i think this was like 10 or 15 somewhere around those prices so yeah this is tilt i've not tried it yet i do like my pinball games i don't mind it at all looks like there's like, got some like decent tables on it as well because that says like gangster on this that's like a gangster themed one um the looks like i don't know if that looks like a bit of a frankenstein because there's like a green guy like tied up to a board and then there's like a couple of people all in white i don't know if it's like either hulk or frankenstein i don't know i'm getting old and i need cataracts so i can't really see but yeah it looks to be some like decent tables on this to be fair We've got roking usa as well like a usa themed one so yeah there looks to be some like cool um tables on there look i've shown you the inside yet so yeah really nice and complete so it's nice to get those i know there's obviously the lower end titles but really nice to get some saturn feeling the saturn love on this video 
So yeah, they are my CX purchases, the recent ones uh, on the visit to Hull CX. They do have like better stuff in than my local CX anyway, because it's just a bigger place in general anyway. So yeah, it's a really cool uh, gaming pickup and slash game hunt day out at Hull. Um, absolutely gutted I didn't have the GoPro on me. I really apologise, guys. Now I will remember to uh, take the GoPro out more often with me so I can take you guys with me. It would have been sick. So yeah, we'll definitely do that next time. I promise you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and obviously you can see what I've been doing with some of my credit. Some of it, there's still way more to come anyway. So yeah, really hope you've enjoyed guys. So feel free to drop some comments in the section down below and we'll have a chat and whatever. It's always awesome to chat to you guys. So take care guys and I'll see you in a bit. See you in the next one guys. Thank you.